clicked out already I understand but who doesn't like to see people having a good time I am so excited I'm gonna sit down and open a ton of things <laughs> and I'm really excited to do it with you anyway uh, I have a lot of things to unbox and I thought I would do it all in one dedicated video because I don't want to sit there and hang on to it any longer I was thinking about it putting in next week's vlog but I can't wait that long <laughs> so we're just doing a whole dedicated video to opening things the first thing and we're gonna open glam bag plus the glam bag X <laughs> this is the Bailey Syrian glam bag and I follow her where's the card I'm already off to a very terrible start oh it's inside the foam uh, Bailey Syrian is the one who curated this box with ipsy her makeup looks so so good. Gosh, I wish I could wear these lashes. <laughs> Why do I have to be allergic? Drama queen. And it looks like serial killer letters because she does true crime. Oh, that's so cool. This little newspaper thing is really, that's really neat. I like the, the way they did this. Ah, oh, look at these looks. This is more of her looks on the inside. Anyway, we don't need to go through this whole thing. Let's get started because we have a lot to open. The first thing is the Rose Clarifying Toner. This toner is really cool. I was reading on the back about it. It doesn't have any sort of alcohol in it, not even a cosmetic grade alcohol. So it's really gentle for all, like I would assume all skin types. And it says to use twice daily after cleansing on a cotton ball. And it smells like Rose Garden. You guys know how I feel about that. I love it when things... If you're ever looking for me in spring and summer, I'm probably frolicking through the rose gardens with my vlogging camera, filming myself in a dress, doing something embarrassing as all get out. <laughs> okay, so it's witch hazel base, known for its many medical qualities, rich in tannins and antioxidants, soothing aloe vera, nourishing rose and lavender, and jasmine flower extract. Love stuff like this. So I'm definitely gonna be using this tonight. I'm excited because this box actually has quite a few things that I'm gonna be able to use when I do my skincare routine tonight. This is a Power Peptide Resurf Serum from Drunk Elephant. And Drunk Elephant has such great packaging, especially for travel. We have a trip planned. I'm so excited. I love it because it's really good for travel. So you can just doop, pop it down like that. So this is definitely gonna be coming with me on a trip that we have planned. We have already booked our hotels and planned the whole trip. The dogs are coming because your girl here can't be away from her dogs. It's a sickness. Yeah, this feels really good. I'm out of serums. I'm actually out of every product. So I don't have a night cream. I don't have a serum. I don't have a non-alcohol based toner. It has no smell to it, which is good because the rest of the skincare does. Mega Strength AM and PM Serum, combining our greatest array and strongest level of skin fortifying peptides, plant derived growth factors, and supportive amino acids with exfoliating 10% lactic acid for a dramatic improvement in the appearance of skin's texture. Well, I could use that. <laughs> My skin needs all the help it could get. I'm taking vitamins right now for hair, skin, and whatnot, and I don't know if it's just me, but my eyes have been getting bluer. Can vitamins, I've also been eating so many carrots, and my eyes have been getting bluer. I've been editing my own videos going, what is going on with my eyeballs? So this is the what I'm probably the most excited about. It's the Grown Alchemist Biological Beauty Regenerating Night Cream. The packaging is so, so cool. I just really like it. It's It's got that old toothpaste tube thing that I love. If you guys have watched my videos, you know that I love that. The thing that I'm loving about this the most, other than just the, oh God, I love that. It is the creamiest night cream I have ever felt in my entire life. It's so smooth. It's so nice. 
This seems like it's just gonna hydrate the living crap out of my face. Now, I am so excited for that. I'm curious to know the price of this because if I love it, I hope it's not crazy expensive because this might be my new go-to just from the feel of this. This was one of those things, the moment I felt it, I fell in love. Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream by Glow Recipe. I have their pink serum and it's almost out. So it's perfect that this came just in time. I'm running out of serum. I really struggled to get the air bubbles out of this thing because it's been traveling around. <laughs> it's got some air bubbles, but I always feel like back here is where I need the most hydration. And it has the best watermelon smell. It just makes you feel like a summer baby. Like it just feels like summertime. Watermelons going to the pool. I mean, you can wear this all, all year round. It's just, it really feels like something that I'm gonna like to have on my skin in the summer. CBD and CBG hand cream, happy dance. Hydrate and support. I've never heard of a hand cream having CBD in it. Your hands are precious and tired, constantly in motion, supporting not only yourself, but your loved ones too. Our soul reviving hand cream contains CBD in a formula rich in hydrating plant-based ingredients to restore your hands. That is cool. So next to the bed, I have a little basket and I have all my hand creams and my cuticle oils and I do it every single night. It's the only way I'll do it every night is if I have it in my nightstand. I have my little routine hands, cuticles, gua sha stone around my face, all of that stuff. So this will go in the little <laughs> nighttime self-care basket. On my eyes, I'm wearing this. The Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I think most of us know about this product and just know that it's a staple. Whenever I need a waterproof mascara to do bridal makeup, this is what I grab for. It's just handy. It, it really is, and it does the trick and will not will not uh, run down your eyes or if you have problems with your mascara stamping throughout the day, if you have like oilier skin, this might help. Uh, I have like 10 coats on my eyes right now. I'm allergic to lash glue, so I can't wear lashes right now. I don't wanna wear any lash extensions. I just need a break from extensions throughout <laughs> my hair, my nails, everything. I just took everything off. Your girl's natural. Your girl's natural. <laughs> it's really hard though. I want to so bad, I wanna like, tape and glue everything back on and look like the goddess that I think I am in my head naturally. But because I'm taking serums and trying all these hair health oils, I can't have my hair extensions in. I can't have my eyelash extensions or my hair extensions in because of this serum that I'm trying to use. And then also for my nails, I'm allergic to nail products unless it's just regular nail polish. So yeah, I've become pretty much allergic to everything that I love. And then this I've tried on and took off already. Sorry, I should have sh like done a video pan of that. But it's the Natasha Denona lip, lip, liposporia, 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 liposporia. Anyway, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's so nude. It's just basically almost like a clear gloss on me when I put it on. It just looks like a clear gloss with a little hint of color. I remember when MAC first started coming out with these types of like more nude brown lip glosses and it just captiv it just captivated me. I was like, what? Colorless lip gloss, nude lip gloss, whoa. Like it just was groundbreaking <laughs> to me at that time. It was a long time ago. Um, and I just thought it was the coolest thing. So this brings me back to that time where I was first introduced to a kind of more brown lip gloss concept. And I like it, I like it a lot. So um, what is the color name? It's just called Mauve, Mauve. Finally, this is what I have on my lips right now. I like it, I like it a lot. It's the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte in the color Toffee at all hours. Look, it's a little garden gnome. <laughs> I cannot describe to you how amazing this applicator and this formula and the feel of this is. It's so good. I have been introduced to my new favorite liquid lip. Thank you, Bailey Sarian, because this is bomb. Remember when liquid lips first started coming out and they were just so uncomfortable. It felt like this ugh, on your lip, like drying. It felt crunchy. If you even remotely wet your lip, it would get tacky. Oh God, the days that we were wearing terrible formulas. They finally perfected these formulas to the point where 
they feel like nothing. Like that's kind of the point of a liquid lip. You don't wanna feel it, you don't want it to come off, you don't want it to kiss off, you don't want it to be all over your clothes and your mugs. Do I have anything, see, my mug is clear. And something else about it that I really liked is it smells good. Now, this isn't for everybody. Fragranced lipstick isn't for everybody, but it is for me. It's almost perfumey, honestly. It's kind of perfumey, and I like that. I love it. Give it to me. Give it to me all. <laughs> and it goes away. It's literally perfumey for like a, t a couple of seconds that you put it on, and then it goes away completely. Can't taste it. When you first put it on, you can taste it a little bit. And then the other thing is, is that the, I don't even know if to call this a doe foot. It's a horse hoof, not doe foot. It's kind of a round slanted and there's a well in the center that grabs some of the product and so it kind of keeps coming out as you apply it. This needs to win an award for innovation and design. I feel like they hired some special engineer to figure out the best way to make a functioning liquid lipstick and this needs to win an award. That's how much I think it's amazing. I'm gonna get on line right now and order two more colors. Great stuff, great stuff. I was introduced to some new things and I was reintroduced to some things that I already knew I loved, but now I have in stock, so it was lovely. Now we're moving on to the next portion of the video where I get to open up something that I won in an eBay auction and I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. I've never bid on anything, well, have I bid on something and lost? I feel like I've only used eBay like once. I've used it to directly buy things where you don't have to bid, but you just like purchase. Never had to like bid, but I kind of feel like an ass because somebody had put in a bid before me. I just happened to find this three minutes before it ended. So I was able to get on there and bid for it. So somebody probably bid ages ago and we're like, oh, no one else is gonna, no one else is gonna get it. And then I got it for a dollar more. I feel really bad. Okay, the packaging is <laughs> creative. I give her an A for effort. This is index cards with, she gave me a free box of tissue so that it's in this box safely. This is creative. <laughs> this is a very creative packaging. Whatever, I just want the product. <laughs> Cute, look. Little sachets that it comes in. Do you guys know what this is? It's got that old makeup smell. These are old Revlon makeup compacts that are completely unused. Look! So the poof is completely unopened. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so cute. I am on a serious kick right now of antiquing and thrifting more than ever. It's something I've always done, but it's, it's kicking in on another level right now. And I saw these little vintage compacts. I'm redoing my, my whole makeup area. I wanna make it look a little bit more me, a little bit more old school. So I'm trying to find old furniture and uh, I'm looking for my vintage train cases. I actually had a bunch back in the day before I moved to the West Coast. I had like five and I sold them because I was moving and I had good ones. I'm gonna cry, even just thinking about it. <laughs> back when I was really into pinup modeling, I used them as props. So I'm back to collecting again, vintage train cases, cosmetic train cases. Uh, I want an old vanity like I used to have. I used to have this one that like had the flat center and then went out like this in the old mirror and the chair and sold it. Now I have like this just generic one I got from TJ Maxx. Long story short, I have a shelf in my beauty room that I want to have collectibles on. So I want to add little things like this. I want to get a lipstick as well. And it's just so ironic that this is the time that I start working with Erin Parsons. I am so in my comfort zone when I'm editing her videos because everything she does is vintage. I'm learning so much. She is the like oracle of historical cosmetic information. She's an encyclopedia. So it's just really cool. I know I'm in the right place because this is already an area of interest of mine and something that just gives me feels. And so her vintage makeup collection is just so 
insane that I'm like, what am I doing? How come I'm not doing this? This is so up my street. So I'm going to start collecting these little compacts and little lipsticks. Came with both of them for $30. So I feel like with the price, I got a good deal because now I can put them on my little shelf. Oh. I'm looking for these in an ad. So if you see an old makeup ad, and it would be so cool to do another magazine recreation of my own compacts that I have now. Let's start with the re real, real this bag. Looks like it has both of the clothing items in it. So let's get into it. I have always wanted something from this brand because they have the girliest clothing. It's very much ruffle. It's very twee kind of, I would say. Uh, ruffles and lace and collars and all of that. And so I got this adorable <laughs> puff sleeved so Anne of Green Gables puffed sleeve plaid look at this collar that Peter Pan style oversized collar with the lace detail on it the only thing I'm feeling with this is that across the chest this might not fit my boobs are the problem with all of these designer clothes designer clothes are not made for women with big boobs <laughs> or at least most of it so I don't know if this is gonna fit me. I can tell just by that. Sad, that is really sad. Ooh, this is going to redeem it. That's nice. Oh, can I just say, if you have an opportunity to shop on the real real, you can even after pay and get yourself a couple of designer t-shirts because they are made completely differently than your H&M t-shirt or mid-range brand tee. They just have the most luxe feel to them. Oh, it's so, so soft. Oh my gosh, so this is a uh, Roberto Cavalli t-shirt and it's so soft and it's oversized so it's gonna be great to wear over the, uh, you know, typical yoga pants I'm wearing on the regular. And it's got a little cap sleeve situation, almost like a tank. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. The design is really unique. I don't really know what it is, but because I'm on this taking care of my skin, well, I've always taken care of my skin, but I really want to just have healthy looking skin and hair and nails. And so I'm taking my vitamins, I'm doing my treatments. And this is the Strawberry Dreams Facial Stems. Strawberry Dreams Facial Stems. And essentially what you do, allow the Strawberry Dreams Facial Steam to work its magic by adding two tablespoons of the mix to a bowl of hot water. Drape a towel over your head to capture the steam and enjoy the, so you know how you do those like steam baths over top of boiling water, hot water? Not boiling, hot, be careful with that. Uh, it detoxes your skin, opens your pores. So it says to put this in that and then steam your face. And that should help with like detoxifying your skin. So this is what it looks like. I just thought it was cool and different and I have nothing like it. So I wanted to try it. Just thought I would try it. Okay, now we're on to the H&M. You guys know I like to thrift, but when it comes to basics and like, say I'm like, well, God, I really need this one particular thing, like this specific type of pant or this specific type of jean or this, you know, you get the gist. So this is when I really like to buy just a bulk order from H&M of basics. I've, I've been into this crushed velvet. It's very, very 90s. It reminds me of like 90210 for some reason. Very back in the day fabric, this faux velvet, but it's a little bandeau top. I love to wear these with high-waisted sweatpants when I'm just kicking it around the house. I don't put on a bra. Why would I do that? I'm hanging at my house with a bunch of dogs editing videos. <laughs> so this is like ideal, how soft, so soft. Ooh, I'm gonna wear this a lot, I love it. And I just love that it's velvet. Now we have a strapless, tight fitting, hugging mini dress. So it's like a tank dress. These, I honestly, I think I just need like 10 of these in various colors and maybe one more black one because this is what I will wear all summer. Like just toss this on, go out into the garden, do a few little things or pop out to the coffee shop with some flip flops. I love these types of things. This is like a Sienna outfit. If only I can just get rid of my belly because when I wear stuff like this, it's really tight fitting out and about. I just don't wanna look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yet another black thing. <laughs> 
I swear I got more colors. It's a lot of black basics though. This is another one I can put on my self tan and pop this on over top. Don't have to worry about it staining it and live in this thing. Another one I will live in. And this one I probably would wear with a bra. I probably wouldn't get very much. Oh, I forgot it has an open back. Cool. Yeah, so I'd probably just wear a neat looking bra with it so you can see the bra through the back. I forgot it has this giant window. So hopefully it's not just like back rolls. Hello. Would anybody like to watch back roll TV? <laughs> Another, ooh, that's tiny. Hope this fits me. This is another just cropped green basic uh, bralette top that I can just toss on some joggers with it. That one I'm a little concerned about how it's gonna fit. Isn't it funny how you can see it on the model and then you get it and you feel it and you're like, oh, I don't know about that. Another one, I must have really been into the idea of wearing like bralette style tanks that are cropped. I went on a tangent, didn't I? Look at how many I got. This one's really cute though. It has a lacy detail, little flowers, and it's even kind of gathered in the center. So I feel like that'll fit really nice. Okay, so I already have this in off-white and I wear this thing all the time. I was so excited to see it was on sale. Another one, but in brown. I wear this all the time. It goes underneath everything, the off-white one. I can toss it on with a blazer over top. I wore it underneath a dress recently when I needed just an extra layer because the dress was a little sheer. They're just great. They're really good for almost being like a slip dress, but they're ribbed in more of a cotton kind of fabric. Last black thing, I swear. This one, va va voom. Ooh, this is chicken cutlet TV. Anybody wanna watch chicken cutlet TV? Your girl here has <laughs> got a dress that'll suit ya. Another slinky, tight fitted, long sleeve, ribbed black turtleneck or mock neck dress. I'm curious to see what that one looks like because that can go a couple of ways. So I was really on the hunt. Uh, I was looking actually on the real reel for this because I thought I would find a nice designer label blazer, and I did find one. What brand was that? Dolce & Gabbana, I think. Had the cutest one, but it was a size extra small. So, guess what I saw when I was looking on H&M for some casual leisure, <laughs> casual leisure wear? I found a blazer. And it's the exact color I was looking for, and how awesome is this? It's awesome! I love I love the look of this and I think it's gonna be one of those things I can wear in the springtime when I want a light coat but I don't need a jacket and still look like I have an outfit together. You know, that I'm not just wearing a jacket. This looks, that's the thing about blazers. Blazers look like it's part of an outfit as opposed to just wearing a jacket to be warm. Do you know what I mean? That is everything. That was my full haul. I hope you guys enjoyed a little Ipsy, a little H&M. The real real, we just went on a shopping excursion. <laughs> it was just kind of random that Ipsy came at the same time as my H&M stuff. So it wasn't really like a planned unboxing. It was just kind of random. Everything came on the same day. So I was able to sit here and do this. <laughs> but yay, I love it. Everything's so great. Got some new stuff to play with. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, that would be great. And I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye.